Welcome to Out Island Explorer's instructional video on how to rig a sea pearl. If you're getting ready to rent a sea pearl from us, this video will help give you a heads up on how to properly rig the boat and derig the boat and some various parts and how they work and just an overall introduction. Uh, these boats are 21 feet long. They uh, can sail in about a foot of water thanks to the lee boards on the side and they can generally carry five or four adults comfortably along with gear. Uh, today we'll be using the beautiful feather for our demonstrations. Uh, the lee boards on the side, each side of the boat, act as a center board. So instead of having a big center board in the middle of the boat or a keel underneath the boat, we have lee boards on each side and that allows you to sail shallower than most boats can sail because of the nice flat bottom we have on the boat. It also allows you to still track uh, upwind maybe not as well as some centerboard or keel boats will do but you can still make your way upwind with the lee boards and they're called lee boards because whatever side the sails are on or the lee side of the boat is the side that you would put the boards down on you can see them sailing right now they track just like a centerboard would uh, but what they also do is they give you lots more space inside the boat so instead of a centerboard sticking up you have these, uh, this nice flat open space here where you can put lots of gear the mast on the sea pearl are the same height uh, the booms are different length. We have the main boom there, which is longer, and the mizzen boom in the back, which is slightly shorter. Uh, the sails themselves are also different sizes. The main sail is slightly larger than the mizzen sail. Now the goosenecks, which is this piece right here, uh, is where you attach the booms and it is slightly lower on the mainsail than it is on the mizzen sail and the reason for that is you want it to be high up on the back mizzen um, mast so the boom can swing over the head safely uh, where the skipper is going to be. The lee boards on each side of the boat are attached to a cord when you pop that cord the lee boards will drop down easily thanks to a heavy lead foot and they will stay down as long as there's traction and then when you're ready to switch sides you pull it back up just like that very simple these boats also have ballast tanks what that is is uh, two, two large tanks inside the boat and they can be filled to add stability in uh, heavier winds or rough seas uh, if you don't have enough gear or people on board to stabilize the boat you can fill the ballast tanks and that'll keep the boats nice and steady so we're going to attach the booms here. I'm going to pick up the mizzen boom, which is the shorter one in the back. We always rig the back sail first, and I'll explain why in a second. Okay, so we're going to loose this wing nut here, which uh, is very simple to loose. Then we're going to take the boom, and we're going to make sure the, uh, the top of the boom, which is the top, the side with the ridge. Okay, we're going to fit it right in there, and we're going to slide the Okay, the screw back in. We're going to put the wing nut back on. Okay, and the boom will stay on for the duration of the rental or uh, the duration of the time you have the boat out. It doesn't need to come on and off every time you derig the boat. This track right here, uh, the cord with the, the clip on the top, that's the boom outhaul. The sail is eventually going to attach to that clip right there, and we're going to use the outhaul to slide the sail out along the boom. Okay. The sail is tied up using this black cord right here. The first thing we're going to want to do is undo that. Okay, you're going to want to hold on to that. It's very important. And we're going to unhand wrap the sail a couple of wraps and clip it to the boom. Now, in heavy winds, you definitely want to only unhand wrap the uh, the mat the sail a couple of times before you attach it to the boom. You don't want to unwrap the whole sail and then have to worry about it flapping around in heavy winds. Then you're going to take the mast and we're going to rotate it. And as we rotate, we're going to tighten the outhaul on the boom. So rotation on the mast, tighten on the outhaul. And we're going to continue that process until the sail is all the way out or as much sail as you want to have out depending on the wind. These boats are very easy to reef in heavier winds and that just means you would stop short of having the whole sail out. Okay one final twist and now you can see we have the whole sail out and we're going to give it one last tighten on that outhaul there make sure she's nice and tight and we're going to pop the cord right into that little cleat right there now 
the reason we held on to this little cord is you want to take that and you want to wrap it around the boom and you want to make sure that she's tied nice and tight these are the three steps to securing the sail the first one is you want to tightly tie that cord around the outhaul the second thing you want to do is you want to make sure this block here is up in the secure position so you, it's going to slide up in between the gooseneck there and lock in place and what that does is it stops the gooseneck from rotating any further so once that sails out it's going to stay out now this downhaul or a vang, a boom vang, is the last thing you want to secure. You want to make sure those lines are not tangled. You're going to clip it to the mast. You're going to pull it tight, not super tight, but tight enough to keep the boom down. So those are your three steps. One, you attach the cord on the outhaul. Make sure the line is nice and tight and then you secure it with that cord. Two, you're going to make sure that block is in place so the gooseneck can no longer rotate. And three, you're going to secure the vang to make sure that the boom can't raise up. We're going to grab the, uh, the mizzen sheet here, which is this white and blue cord. We're going to untie that, and I'm going to show you how this secures. It's a little odd, not like a traditional main sheet. Basically, you're going to take the loose end, you're going to go through this loop on the back of the tiller, you're going to go through the eye hole, and then you're going to tie yourself a nice figure eight so it can't come back through. All right, you're going to bring in all the slack. You want that to be nice and tight. And then you're going to pop that into that cleat right there. And having the mizzen sail tight keeps the boat pointed straight into the wind. So by having that one rigged and tight, it's just going to point you right into the wind, which is going to make it much easier to rig the mainsail. So here we go on the mainsail. We're going to attach the boom just like we did before. All right, you want to make sure that ridge is right side up. Make sure your outhaul is loose and ready to go. Okay, only difference with the mainsail is we're going to attach the main sheet first because the last thing we want is for this mainsail to get out of control once it's rigged up. So you're going to put a figure eight on the end of that. You're going to make sure it's ready to go. So we're going to untie that black cord just like we did with the other sail. You're going to hang on to that. Give it a couple of hand wraps. Okay, remember not too much. You want to always be in control of the sail. Never have the sail get out of control. We're going to attach the end of the sail into the clip on top of the boom here. Now these clips vary from boat to boat, but it's uh, some sort of basic clip just to attach the sail to the boom. Now once that's secure, then we're just going to repeat the process of rotating the mast and tightening on the outhaul until the sail is all the way out in light winds or reefed to the, uh, the proper uh, the proper length in heavier winds. All right, we've got the sail all the way out. One last tighten on that outhaul. We're going to grab our cord here. We're going to tie it around the boom, and you want this knot to be really tight. You don't want the sail slipping as you're sailing. That means you'll have to stop and readjust everything. So again, the first step is the cord. The second step is the block. All right, you want to fit that block right into the gooseneck there. It's a little tricky at first, but you'll get the hang of it. All right, and then the third step is the vang. You want to make sure those lines are not tangled, and you want to just attach it to the mast right here. Give it a little tug. Both sails are up and ready to go. Let's go for a quick sail. So we're just going to jump on here. All right, you make your way to the back of the boat. What we want to do is we want to put the rudder down. So that means we're just going to loosen this little rope on top of the tiller here onto that little black cleat. When you loosen that, the rudder drops down. It's ready to go. All right, we're going to pull in the main sheet and we are sailing. Now we're going to put down the lee board on the lee side of the boat. There it goes, just a simple pop. The leg keel drops down and now she is heading true. These boats are very fast. They can go well over six knots in good conditions. They do very well on a broad reach, on a downwind run. Um, they can be a little stubborn going upwind, uh, which is why we usually recommend that our rentals don't stray too far from, uh, from the put-in zone because it can be a little longer getting back than it is going out. But they are a whole lot of fun. They're beautiful and they sail really well in the Exumas. Um, 
and you can see when you have that mizzen sheet you just want to have your hand on it at both times on both sheets so it's very easy to sail these boats by yourself and it's even easier when you have help so this is the part where you just sit back have a cold beer while you cruise through the keys and let the boat do all the work for you now we're gonna get ready to do a tack here the thing you want to remember with the tack is you leave the lee boards down or the lee board that you have down you leave it down throughout the tack you deal with your sails and then you worry about the lee boards you cannot tack if you pull that lee board up before you try to turn so here we go we push the tiller hard over sails come across switch sides and now we are on a port tack and now the sails are adjusted we're going to switch our lee boards starboard lee board is now down and we're going to pull up the port side and now we have switched tacks just like that if you pull that lee board up too early the boat will not have traction it will not be able to tack so you want to remember to keep that lee board down do your tack adjust your sails and then you adjust your lee boards a lot of people ask if you can just have both lee boards down the whole time we don't recommend that because the lee board that's not being used will flap and bang against the boat if there's no tension on it and that leaves the possibility for something breaking so only you put down the lee board that you are using which is the one the same side the sails are on the lee side of the boat now as you get near the shore uh, one thing you always want to remember is you you want to pull that lee board up before you hit the shore you don't want to forget about it or else you might break it so we're getting close to the shore let's grab that lee board we're gonna pull it up alright not too far from shore you want to still be able to steer the boat but once it starts getting shallow you're gonna to want to pull that lee board up here we go you can nose these boats just right up on the beach simple as that and don't forget when you're done you want to pull that rudder up so we're gonna reach back there we're gonna pull that white cord back up we're gonna tie it back on the cleat done now watch how easy it is to push these boats off along with the help of my three-year-old son here we're just gonna push it right off the beach I'm by myself and I can get that boat right off the beach so even if you get high and dry at low tide uh, with two adults you're usually able to push it right back off okay now we're going to talk about how you would do this all in reverse and derig the sea pearl so just do those three steps in reverse you're going to loose the cord you're going to loose the block you're going to loose the vang without doing either of these three things you cannot rotate the mast so you want to make sure that you have get all those undone the cord the vang and the block now the mast can rotate again okay make sure the outhaul is loose out of that cleat rotate the mast all the way in until the mast is right up as far as the clip can go you want to unclip that rest the boom down gently hand wrap the last couple of wraps of the sail right back around the mast nice and tight uh, you don't want it to be loose or else the wind will work it free overnight and it'll start flapping and that could get you into trouble so you want to take that cord you want to put it through the eye at the end of the sail okay and you just want to tie it back around the mast really tight so you don't want this to come loose in the middle of the night or else you're going to be swimming out there to mess with your sailboat all right you're going to pull the main sheet in nice and tight the boom is going to rest on the deck all right the only difference with the mizzen boom is we want to secure that with the sheet before we deal with the sail or else it'll slide overboard but besides that everything else is the same uh, you just re-secure the sails nice and tight and she is ready to sleep so I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you feel a little more comfortable to see pearls now. Before you know it, you'll be cruising yourself up and down the Exumas. And uh, we can guarantee you're going to have a great time. These boats are a lot of fun. Uh, they're beautiful. They sail really well and um, give you some great memories. So we look forward to seeing you. Thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you soon. For more information, just check out our website, outislandexplorers.com.